And Texas voters will be considering 10 ballot propositions. Some could affect your health and your money. Our political reporter, Jack Fink, breaks it all down for us. Vote for Prop 4. You want to ensure that in your lifetime, there will be no state income tax here in Texas. I'm against Proposition 4. Why? And I'm against an income tax. And you can be against an income tax and against Proposition 4. If Prop 4 passes, it would require the Texas House and the Texas Senate to each have a two-thirds majority before they could ask voters statewide to decide whether to establish a state income tax. Now, the Texas House and Senate only need a simple majority. Which is a significant difference, and it gives the Texas taxpayer that added layer of protection. Republican State Senator Pat Fallon, who wrote the bill, says a vote for Prop 4 would keep giving Texas an advantage over other states. Democratic State Senator Nathan Johnson says, while no one wants an income tax, if it were to pass, Prop 4 would hurt the state. Under current law, any income tax, if we were to pass it, would have to go to public education and to reduce property taxes. If we were to pass Proposition 4, no such restriction. The money could go to anything. But Senator Fallon says a restriction could be added. Both senators, Johnson and Fallon, agree, though, on at least two other ballot propositions. Prop 3, which would allow the state legislature to grant a temporary property tax exemption in a declared disaster area. And Prop 6, which would double the bonds for research by the Cancer Prevention and Research Institute of Texas. And that was Jack Fink reporting. And you can look for his live election coverage in our later newscasts. And be sure to follow him on Twitter, at CBS11Jack.